ever curious how apps come to life? Today, I'm excited to share the design journey behind FitMe, a real app recently published on the Play Store. In this video, I will walk you through the entire design process from my initial ideas to collaborating with developers. So keep watching until the end. Let's dive right in. You might be thinking how to design an app in the proper way for your client as a beginner designer. What process should you follow where you can find inspiration? How to structure a project in Figma? Today we will cover everything you need to know by using the FitMe app design process. You can download the app from the Play Store so that you can see how we developed it and can definitely give us honest feedback on this. I will put the link in the description. All right, the first tip was research and planning but it's important to remember that there is not a perfect design process that works for everyone each project team and company is different you will need to adopt the process to fit your needs however having a structured process will give you the framework and guidance needed to drive your project forward in the research and planning stage, our team focused on gathering all the necessary information and insights to inform the design process for the app. We started by understanding our target audience, identifying who they are, their fitness goals, preferences, and endpoints. To do this, we conducted surveys, interviews, and user observations, gathering valuable data directly from potential users. Next, we analyze competitors in the market. Our team examined other fitness and squad apps to identify their strengths and weaknesses, noting what features they offer and how they address user needs. This competitive analysis helped us find opportunities to differentiate our app and offer unique value to our users. By thoroughly understanding both our audience and the competition, we laid a strong foundation for the design process. With the insights gathered, we moved to wireframing. It's useful to begin with pen and paper to quickly capture ideas, then move to digital wireframing in Figma for more detailed design. But we sketched out the layout of the app directly in Figma. So before showing you the wireframing, let me show how to structure the Figma project. Once you create the Figma project, just rename it. Fit me app. Then you can create multiple pages for different things like this one is for app screens. The second one is for style guides. And for better visibility, you can add a text symbol icon by pressing Windows and full stop keys. So we did the same thing in our project. We created multiple pages for different things like the first page is for project brief where we have placed all the information or brief that is for the app to follow and these are dummy training plans for only design. So you can place the information here that your client provided you to follow in design. The next page is for app screens where we created multiple sections. I will explain it in a while. All right, let's come to the topic, wireframing. So created a section for the low fidelity wireframe you can create a section from this section option so focusing on key screens we created such as the onboarding screens workout training list screen squad counter progress tracker and multiple cars etc low fidelity wireframes are basic quick to make layout for a web or app that focus on structure and functionality without details design elements like colors or images. They use simple shapes and lines to show UI components, making it easy to communicate the overall layout and flow to stakeholders. Wireframes allowed us to visualize the app structure and flow without getting caught up in the design details. This tip ensured that we had a clear and user-friendly layout before diving into the visual design or high-fidelity wireframe. Then we move to the high fidelity wireframes. A high fidelity wireframe is a detailed and polished representation of a design. It includes precise design elements, color, typographies, images, and interactive elements. They closely resemble the final product and provide a clear and realistic view of how the app or website will look and function. Before starting the visual design, it's essential to gather inspiration and think about a design that perfectly matches your 
brand. Websites like Mobin Patron Screenshots, Dribble, Behance, and Awards showcased top designer work and provided a vast array of style and ideas. Look at the design of successful competitors in the fitness app space, analyze what work will for them, and consider how you can incorporate similar elements while adding your unique touch. Moodboard is another great way to collect inspiration together. There are multiple platforms where you can create mood boards, but I will just show you a simple one if you are using Pinterest. Let's say I'm searching for the fitness app design. So there are hundreds of design inspiration. So for example, I like this one. So just you need to save it from here in your mood board that you can create easily in your profile and where you can see your saved design. So before starting the design, you need to create a page for the style guide. The style guide page ensures design consistency by defining colors palette, typography, and other visual elements. It includes primary, secondary, and accent colors, as well as font choices and sizes for different text elements. The guide also covers spacing, button styles and icons providing clear standard for a cohesive and professional look throughout the app. It's not necessary to design it too fancy but a good design is always impressive. For now I design only the color palette, typography and their screen boundaries. Then you can add these colors and typography to the project that can be easily accessible in other pages. You need to select the color then click on these four dots, the plus icon and name your color. In this way we can add all these styles. I'm not going to design anything in this video. If you want a detailed video on these things, please watch this and other real project video. So we are talking about high fidelity wireframes. Let me explain how I designed it. If we talk about these characters images, first we added those stock real images from prepig.com. But then we decided to use some related images to the theme color. Yes, it's possible to rechange the color of their clothes in Photoshop, but we decided to use the AI images that are more correct for our theme. So for that, we used a Recraft AI, which is my favorite tool, where you will not only create the raster images, but can create vector graphics that are completely editable and it's completely free. So once you create an account and login, you will see multiple options whether you want to create a vector graphics, mockups or a raster image. If I want to create a raster image, there are multiple options. What kind of image you want to create or the image realistic, illustrative or can upload your reference image. For now, I want a realistic image. So we will write prompt like create a realistic female character in the gym. You can change the ratio to this is fine. Recraft. It will give you two options initially, but the result depends on your prompt. A good prompt always gives you a better result. So all the imagery credit goes to Recraft AI. I will put the link in the description. It will definitely help you too. So you can see how the colors and images perfectly match in our app. Okay, the next thing is to create a page for components to create elements like the status bar, those CTAs. I have just made two things, but you can make many things like checkbox, radio buttons, drop down, list, sliders, search field, image galleries, and much more. So it will be very easy to use these elements in multiple pages and screens. All right, so first the user will select the gender. Next, they will select their level and the goal of squats they want to complete. And then the app is providing two methods of training whether they select the smart or classic. In the smart, the smartphone sensor will count the user squats. Then the app will create the workout plan for the user. And here is the training list in the home screen. So you can see how we design that low fidelity wireframe to the high fidelity wireframe.
here is some more info about progress and on the tip okay there is a hamburger menu design where we put some information below in the home screen we design a bottom bar where user can access three pages training progress and sitting page next when a user starts the training the app will show 10 seconds to ready for workout and that 3d animation will teach the user how to perform the squats so we have added a gif file to the design let me show you you can see how the model is doing the squats by holding the smartphone by the way these 3D characters are designed by one of our team members, Mr. Navid. Similarly, for the other pages like Smart Counting page and for the Rest Time page. Next is the setting page where user can change the setting like gender, label, and training method, etc. Here is the progress tracking page which will count real time progress of the user. Next are some cars that will be displayed on the screens like this car is for rest day. If someone clicks on the rest day, then for the daily completion of squats, this one will pop up for the app rating, then card for completing the call completion. So that was the high fidelity design process for the smart squat section. Down here is the section for classic squats. Almost everything is the same, just the training method is different. It will work without the smartphone. User will need to press the button manually and the 3D character doesn't have a smartphone in his hand and other things are the same. Below here is another section for the female smart squats. When the user select the female, all the theme color will be changed to that pinkish red color. That you can see the color is attached in the style guide. So the layout is the same as it is just here will train the user to be a 3D female character while holding a smartphone. Again, another section for female theme but for classic squats without the smartphone. So that was the visual or high fidelity wireframe for the app. The next step is prototyping in the design process where we bring our wireframe to life with interactive elements. We create clickable prototype that simulate the app's functionality providing a realistic preview of the user experience. This stage helps refine the design and ensure it aligns with our vision before moving to the final development phase. So if I turn on the prototype tab, you can see how elements are connected to different elements and screens. Let me show you these onboarding only in the preview. Look, if we click on any of character, it will take us to the related screen. There are some back buttons and CTAs and it's working fine. We have just added simple interaction, not too fancy animation. So that's how elements and screens interact with each other. The next thing is to share your prototype to your developer or client. On the top right, click on the share prototype button. Here you can add the clients or developer emails. But there is another important step in the design process called user testing. User testing is a continuous process that can be performed at multiple stages, including after prototyping and after publishing the app. After creating high fidelity wireframes, prototyping allows users to interact with clickable version of the app to validate design and user flow, identifying usability issues and gathering feedback for improvements. After launching, we keep testing the app by having a small group of users try it out and give feedback on how it works. We also keep checking how the app performs through analytics, user reviews, and usability tests. This ongoing feedback helps us make sure the app stays user-friendly and meets user needs. Now, I have a request for you. Please download and install the FitMe app. We would love to hear your honest review and feedback. Your input will help us address any pinpoint and make improvements. You can find the download link in the description. Final design and handoff. Finally, we refine the design based on usability testing feedback, ensuring all UI elements were pixel perfect and ready for development. 
we developed a comprehensive design system with all assets and guidelines to maintain consistency through the app. So you already know how to export an element from Figma. Now exporting an element in which format it depends on the way your developer follows. Whether he is developing in Flutter, native Android with Kotlin or with Java. So for example if he or she is developing in Flutter you might need exporting assets in SVGs or PNGs are fine but there are some figma plugins available for flutter to make your process faster and correct just search there and you will find it additionally you will need to design some visuals for the apps release for the play store where they will display like the app launcher icon which is 1024 pixels will be the width and height and you can export it in multiple sizes similarly some shots date will be displayed on the play store in this way the final design files were handed off to our team member mr mate a software engineer with expertise in android development who successfully brought fit me to life if you are interested in learning app development he has courses available on udemy i will include the link in the description so thanks for sticking with us through the app design process. Now the FitMe app is live on the Play Store, ready to help you reach your fitness goals with personalized quest workout and smart tracking features. We have shown you every step from initial research to final design to ensure a smooth and user-friendly experience. I hope this video has provided you with useful insights into creating a successful app. Don't forget to download FitMe from the Play Store and let us know what you think. Your feedback is important for making the app even better. Thanks for watching and stick around.